to my youtube channel so today i am going to discuss how we can dockerize our golang application so we will be looking at two parts one that we will create a simple web application in golang and we will run it in docker container second how we can minimize the docker container image size right so let's get started first thing that we need to do here is i am going to create a directory uh, with the name go docker then i'm going to cd into that uh, directory right i'm going to initialize my go mod which will be go docker again and then i'm going to create a go file main.go so once i have that i'm going to write a simple web application package main import i'll import the libraries that i need Oops. cool after this i am creating my function main um, i'm going to call http dot handle a simple endpoint uh, which is going to be the slash endpoint hello server um, I need to create this method. Let me create this method. Hello server. It's going to take a HTTP response writer and and a request. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a f print to the response writer, and that's going to be hello world. Cool. After this, um, I'm going to do printf starting server at port 8080 slash n. If error, listen and serve. not equal to nil if then I am going to log that error okay cool so I have created my main file after this I am going to create docker file and in that docker I will have simple straightforward commands I am going to fetch a golang um, alpine image in which we will be running our docker container um, work directory is going to be build in our case then i'm going to copy everything that's in go mod to the default directory inside docker container then i'm going to run go mod download to download all the dependencies that we need copy everything back run go build to build our application after this our entry point will be our main object cool so once we have done this let's try to run our command so first thing i will build the image using the tag which is going to be go docker sorry go docker it will start building the image okay it's done so now i am going to check the size of the image so i will do images go docker so you can see the size is somewhere around 308 mb right so let's run this docker app and see whether it runs or not i will do go docker and it has started running let's do uh, docker ps to see if the process is running we can see the process is running and this is the container id and if you guys remember we had this uh, console log that's a starting server app port 8080 so i am going to check that log to see that our application is working fine and you can see we see the log here now I am going to stop this container and 
and I'm going to remove this container as well. What I'm going to do here is, if you remember our image size was 308. So to reduce that, I'm going to change our Docker file command by into a two step command. So everything till here stays the same. Now what I do is, um, currently what happens is when it creates and builds an image, um, everything from here till here takes 308 MB. To reduce it, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to compile the application. So till here, if you see this run command compiles our application and creates us a, gives us a compiled value, uh, right? So I'm going to just copy the compiled image to my Docker image and everything is going to take less space. So let's see that copy. builder main slash bin slash main cool uh, once i do this let's run docker uh, build dash dash tag go docker so let it build the image builder Oh, we need to give it as builder. Sorry, this step was it. So this as builder will be used here. So it will go, it's going to copy everything uh, that has been compiled and then it's going to just use the compiled version and the Docker version. Uh, so it's going to be in le less in space. So I'll run this command again. This time it should work fine. And if I do Docker images, go Docker. And you see the size of the image, sorry, has been reduced from 308 MB to 11.7 MB. Now to test this, that it's working, the reduction in size doesn't cause any errors or issues with running the app. Let's run it and see whether it works fine. Starting and go remain no such fine directory. Okay, so we are getting some error here. And I'm just going to quickly look at it. Why? Oh, this is the issue. Because I copied everything to bin that dot main, so my entry point has changed. So I'm going to build the image again let's build it okay this is done let's see our image size it stays the same we gonna do docker run go docker okay it's running fine we do a docker ps now we just do uh, logs uh, the command was dash dash tail 2000 container id and we see it's running fine so that's all for today's video hope you guys learned something new and if you guys like this video please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and follow me on instagram thanks everyone